All guns and no girls makes a Russian a dull boy. I've kidnapped FPS Russia, taken them to Vegas. I'm gonna introduce him to a little pussy. On all the guns seen in the videos, which helped put them above all the other gun channels on YouTube. Not only were they business partners, but also friends. With this pairing of one obtaining the guns and the other one shooting them for millions of fans, they seemed unstoppable. Th Equation. On top of this, nothing appeared to be missing from his gun store, so robbery didn't make sense either. Also, no one seemed to believe anyone in the FPS Russia team was involved. Keith had a vital role in providing the weapons that made the videos possible. And with him gone, the channel never recovered. An online brand on the rise now had its name tarnished because of an unknown assailant. The one thing that we do have to go on is that it appeared Keith knew his killer because there was absolutely no sign of a struggle from a man who was surrounded by guns in a gun store. So if it was somebody he knew, but not anyone from FPS Russia, who killed him? Well, there are three possibilities that may solve this mystery, and we'll go over all of them after a word from our sponsor. All of which I'll go over today. The first of these theories is that this all happened after an affair of the romantic variety went wrong leading to the murder. In an interview with his ex-wife, she tells about how they met on MySpace and fell in love. But things start to go downhill after getting married when she discovered he had been seeing another woman behind her back. This led to their separation, and made many wonder if this information had anything to do with his passing. Anyone who's ever watched a mystery show knows that murders motivated by romantic falling outs are all too common. And while but in terms of Russia, the idea that Putin is going to allow unfettered access to guns is somewhat absurd. Mm -hmm. um, this was a front. This was just a way for um, Putin to infiltrate the highest levels of the NRA. I think the, that Russia looked at the landscape of America and saw that gun extremism was an easy way to get into um, the American uh, electoral landscape undetected. And that looks like it's exactly what they did. And in Little bit different today. Got Dan Bilzerian with me. He's gonna show us all how he rolls on the firing range. Typical Monday. First gun we're gonna be shooting is an M4. I shot a lot of M4. Pretty sure you've shot a lot of M4. I've shot a lot of M4s, but I don't think anyone wants to see me shoot. I don't think anyone wants to see you shoot. They want to see you shoot. You think you can handle those melons? Of course. <laughs> Probably has a little experience. And they're short as melons. I don't know what all of you think about this, but there's definitely room for a conspiracy. Check the dates. 